I have a diary entry today about why I mostly choose to keep my Golden Doodle Sophie in a long coat and how I go about doing it, even though it's summertime in Australia. And also, if you've ever wondered what Golden Doodles look like when they've never had a full clip, I've got a few stunning examples to share with you. Thanks for joining us here on My Golden Doodle Diary where I talk about Golden Doodles, Groodles, Doodle Dogs as represented by Sophie and her Groodly friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Now let's get into today's doggy chat. I'll preface this video by saying that keeping an extra long coat on Doodle Dogs is not really easy or practical. It depends on your personal preference, how you like your dog to look, your lifestyle, available time and so on. I'm someone who has her dog clipped rarely and I know I'm the exception rather than the norm because most people have their dudes clipped every six to eight weeks. At the moment Sophie is entering that extra long coated phase. She's starting to get a part on her head and soon there'll be a part along the middle of her back too. Now's the time when I find myself swapping up nicknames and calling her things like Fuzzy Wuzzy. And even people who are familiar with Golden Doodles are asking for clarification about her breed. So why do I keep her coat long? In the first instance, the long coat look is simply something that appeals to me a great deal. To be honest, I can't bear to get her long blonde locks cut off. But it's also something that works well because of four factors. Number one, Sophie has the type of coat which makes it relatively easy to keep long. Number two, my lifestyle is suitable for keeping her in a long coat. Number three, I am dedicated to brushing her frequently so she doesn't get big mats. And number four, I do all I can to keep her cool during the hot months. So let's look further into these factors. Sophie's coat is fine to medium in density. The waviness gives it the illusion of thickness, but it's really easy to get to her skin. When she's nicely brushed out and running around, she gets good airflow to the skin, which keeps her cool. Her coat has never been prone to matting and incidentally, she looks like a much bulkier dog in long coat than when she has her coat short. And as the coat gets longer and longer, much of the wave and curliness is straightened out. As far as lifestyle is concerned, we hardly ever take her swimming at the beach. Beach walks are parallel to the beach on the footpath, not on the sand. If you frequently like to walk in the sand and have your dog swim in the sea, keeping a doodle dog in an extra long coat is not really practical. I keep Sophie mat free by frequently brushing and combing her right up to the skin. Now that the coat's so long, I brush and comb her every day or every second day. Because there aren't any mats to battle through, I can get it done in around 15 minutes. But while I keep Sophie in a long coat on her body, I use a little trimmer on various parts, such as in front of her eyes, paw pads and sanitary areas. Remember that if you like the long or semi-long look on your golden doodle, it's not a problem for professional groomers to do, provided the dog is completely mat free. A way to check for this is if you are able to glide a comb right through to the skin all the way along your dog's body. Here's my video about brushing and combing doodle dogs to avoid matting. And lastly, in hot weather, I'm super careful about keeping Sophie cool. She's exercised very early in the morning and in the late afternoon. Then she's inside sleeping on the tile floor or with air conditioning on. On especially hot days, I'd soak her just in the middle from here to here in the shower and let her air dry. I can get away with that because air drying doesn't cause mats to form on her specific coat type. But I know that's not the case for certain other types of doodle coats. I also clip Sophie's belly and her underside so she's cooler underneath. Still, I do usually have her clipped about twice a year. But what about grown up golden doodles which have never had their body coat clipped? What do they look like? Here's a shout out to Kimberly in the US who does an amazing job of maintaining her Dallas girl in a super long silky coat. 
The only trim she's had is a little around the eyes, her paws and sanitary. And hello to Helen from Switzerland who has also never clipped the body coat of her two golden doodles, Mia and Milo. She is also rewarded with beautiful super silky coats on her dogs. I've left some links in the description below to Helen's info about long coat maintenance. Now having said all this, I am thinking of clipping Sophie myself for the very first time, soonish, just to be more reliant about overall maintenance and to learn a new skill. But I'll have to see because I may change my mind. Thank you for spending time with us. If you got value from this video, leave a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Bye.